What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the FTB server. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we had finished our advanced alchemical furnace after making a trip to the Outer Lands and getting the Primordial Pearl, which is really, really cool. However, I'm putting Thomcraft somewhat on hold right now. Not really so much because I'm stuck or anything, it's mostly just because I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. Um, other than making the eco robes and stuff like that, I really haven't really found out what else I want to do. Um, and I'm kind of looking more at resource gathering at this point. And so what I'm looking at is bees. I'm going to start with, start getting into bees, but um, I do plan on putting out a quarry probably somewhere in one of my ages or something like that, uh, just for bulk resource gathering. But, um, I still want to look into bees because they can get you some other things that don't spawn in the world and stuff. So rather than just building further down and kind of keeping with, I'm trying to kind of change it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm already kind of working on laying out the frame here of where it's going to be but I kind of want to just build a new room and then I'm probably going to cut out this right here and make a doorway and that doorway is going to have some kind of like railing but exposed pathway that then comes along here and you enter into another section with the same kind of roofing and and stuff to just to keep it uh similar in theme but kind of a little different in nature is kind of what I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is, so the whole episode isn't spent on me building, I'm just going to work on some building stuff here, and then when we get a little closer into getting things set up, uh, I'll come back and we'll look into what I'm probably going to end up doing is the, um, what is it called? I think it's under Gendistry. Mutagen, industrial apiary. I'm probably going to build this. For one reason, we're in a savanna biome, or Savannah Plateau, and nothing wants to grow here except these modest bees, but like this one, the forest, the meadow, none of them will grow, and I don't really want to go to all ends of the world or anything like that. So with the uh, indus industrial one, this is kind of like a workaround to me from the, AP the A alviary. Alviary? Yes. Because the alviary requires a lot of like honey and uh, what is it royal jelly and some other stuff that's harder to get right off the bat the industrial one isn't that hard to make it's like bronze stone um, bronze bronze gold you know easy simple stuff but then I think it's under Gen Street you can do these upgrades to it so like the um, cooler changes temperature seal protects from rain so when it rains they'll still pollinate. Um, where's the other one? You can emulate certain biomes like jungle, um, ocean emulation, open sky, so we can build it indoors. Uh, I'll probably do the seal and open sky, but then there was something else. Desert, pollen scrubber, um, the humidifier is pretty good. Automated upgrade dryer winter flower light so the light the seal and open sky are three that i'm going to need i don't know how many expansion slots it has um and then beyond that we'll probably have to build multiples of these or something and do um different upgrades depending on what type of bee i'm trying to grow or raise whatever breed so let me go ahead and keep building and i'll come back when we have the bare skeletal structure done and then maybe do another break and then when it's actually like the building's done and it's time to start building the genetic stuff i'll be back okay so here we have kind of the basic structure i think i'm going to end up using um, i wanted to do something a little bit different with the design so i hit a multi-level spot and ended up just thinking what if I made this section like where we store the bees and process and all that kind of stuff and then this is like your apiaries down here or something or vice versa you have your apiaries all up here um and then leave this for like storage and 
something. I don't know. It would just give it some dimension. There's like a multi floor. Thought that would be kind of cool. Um, I left a lot of windows open because I figured with bees be kind of cool. Have have a lot of windows. Um, stuffs like that. I haven't put the roof on quite yet. Mainly just because of uh, materials. I don't have that much uh, spruce wood left. So I'm going to get to that, I think. I haven't made the walkway path yet, though. Um, I'm kind of, my, my, my head's thinking some kind of like this, like gravel or, um, there's also, what is it, like a path? Yeah, from open blocks, which is just two cobblestone put together. Um, I might do something like sand with a path or something, because that would keep it kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to mess around with that at some point though. Um, so I'm going to keep working on this. What I think we're going to end up doing though is having a typical roof layout. Um, like the rest of this, this is going to, and I'm probably going to bring this actual roof over to here. Um, and then this will be open. This walkway area will be, wo will be, will be open. <laughs> It will be open when no Waskowy Wabbit show up. Um, yeah, it'll be open, is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe a railing, like a fence or something. Not real sure. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to go with, though. So I will be back when I get a little more progress done. Okay, so here's what I've come up with so far. Um, it's actually coming together quite nicely. I kind of like it. Um, I did the... Kind of the same uh, theme overall, but I experimented a little more with this path here. Um, so the roof is all connected like I always wanted it to be, but yeah, shut up. Um, we left the awning open. I did fill it in with stone. I didn't, uh, I kind of did that up here. Like it's become kind of the theme is most of the ceiling is stone. And then just the border is done in inverted stairs. So I kind of kept the same theme there. But I wanted to do a more open path just to give it more of a connected but not always inside kind of look. Like there's some pathways where you can go out and look at the... You know what? I've kept this guy around for so long because eventually I was thinking of fixing him and turning him or, or netting him to where I could have zombies or zombie villagers but I just I just don't care anymore and he keeps making noise so peace and quiet achieved so anyways I, I tried to do these little path things from open blocks which is kind of cool they're kind of growing on me when I first threw them down I was like ooh, but they're kind of growing on me uh, I like the sand with the railing and all that so I, I it's kind of growing on me I like it I think it's gonna work um, and then inside, I haven't really done too much yet, other than light it up to where there's no spawning areas. But, I'm still thinking I'm gonna have, like, the industrial apiary things somewhere, and then this is probably gonna be, like, storage. My one issue is I'm gonna have to figure out how to connect stuff. Because I still haven't moved my ME system yet. The ME system is eventually going to go over there, I think. Or... Yeah, probably over there. Because it's closest to the power, so I could just move it to the power and be fine. Um, it'll be close to my machines to where I can, like, put the... I don't know what I'll have to do. I'll have to make a connection thing, I guess. Some kind of device that connects to this Steve's factory thing, and then we could route it all together. I don't know. Something like that. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably just power the Gendistry thing off of a power cell for now until I get everything. I'll probably run a cable. Let's see. There's two layers of stone before you get to the roof. So I will probably run it through there. And just run the cable under that. Hey! That's not cool. Oh well. I'll probably do something like that to run the power cable. And uh, we'll do Ender IO conduit to where we can do 
items and uh, power and stuff. But in the meantime, let's get working on this. I need to make, nope, this, an industrial apiary. And once we get this going, then we should be able to test out and see if we can actually make um, the bees work in this environment and see if that'll actually do what we want it to do. Okay, so I think we have everything that we're gonna need. I just have to make a few things real quick. But I think we've got most everything. I always get that backwards. So we need a piston. We need to make a couple of bronze gears, which if you didn't know, bronze and tin make, or copper and tin make bronze. Not bronze and tin make bronze, that wouldn't make sense. Um, so we did this, this is standard glass. Uh, we need a casing. And then this one. Oh, I need a pain. That's a pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, okay. All right. So we got that part. Let's go back down to the ME system since I forgot the glass pane. Otherwise, we would have had everything that we needed. All right. Nope. How do I get stuck in everything all the time? Um. Uh, pain. There we go. So we're going to put, um, I'm not ready for that yet, actually. So we need a weighted pressure plate. Um, goes down here to redstone and bronze. Be receptacle. Sweet. So we put that there, that there, that there, these there, and this there. Sweet. Industrial apiary. Now, um, before we do anything else, let's place this down. No queen, no power, control, always on, press shift from rainbow. Energy required, temperature, blah, blah, blah. So this is what I wanted to know. We have room for four upgrades. So when we're looking at this, how many do we need? I need the seal the open sky, so that's two, um, light upgrade, and was there anything else, or was it then just the, um, I think then it was just whatever biome you wanted, genetic stabilizer, genetic decay, and mm, that's an interesting one. Ocean. Yeah, so it was those three, and then we could do like a biome upgrade if necessary. So, what do I need for these? We need blue dye of some kind, or floral powder, or whatever. We need three of these upgrade frames then. So that's six nuggets, ten we have, redstone we should have. Let's check that. Ooh, that's fine, we'll just make one here. Okay, now the redstone, was it, was it in the corners? No, it's in the sides, okay. So let's grab, it's more of that. Oops, one too many, oh well. Tin, and boom. Okay, so we're gonna take three of those. Um, and it looks like just glass, beeswax in glass, and glowstone in glass. So that's easy. Um, we're going to have to make the powder, though. Bleh. Okay. And we're going to need another one of those. Okay, so three there, one there. Uh, let's just grab a stack of glass because we're gonna need it. There's our open sky. The um, the NEI keeps changing on me. Oh, it's because I'm in an inventory, that's why. Okay, um, what else? Oh, the seal, right. So one, two, three, four. Nope. There we go. 
So this stuff is actually not super expensive so far, which is really good because would probably have to make one for each, um, oh, poo. I'm gonna have to break that down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make this last upgrade and then I'm gonna take this guy. Ooh, it doesn't tell me if I can break this or not. Ugh. Oh, okay. Whew. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the necessary upgrades and then we're gonna go um, install them and see if it works. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, I'm going to throw these guys back in here actually, because I started to um, use them and then I was like, well, that really doesn't tell me a whole lot because we know they're already working. Now, I didn't have enough to, uh, material-wise, to make the, whatchamacallit, um, ow, the, um, dang it, I can't think of the word. Oh, the uh, biome upgrade thing. What, yeah, that. So, um, that's not going to... We're not going to be able to use anything... Okay, this says sky obstructed. We're not going to be able to use anything with um, the like forest biomes just yet. But, we will be able to do that eventually. So, what I'm going to do... I didn't have a spare cell. So, what I'm going to try here is a culinary generator. So we're going to put this at extract, this at insert. Um, I might eventually want to put a power thing on there, but I'm not worried about it right now. So first we need open sky, light, and seal. And then we'll leave or tell you what, let's, let's move this around a little bit. Then we'll leave that one for the biome. Uh, this can all go in the other thing. So let's try this. So we have energy required, temperature, warm and arid, which is exactly what these guys like, I think. Production modifier, 30%. Flowering chance, 5. Lifespan modifier, 20. Territory, 9 by 6 by 9. No power. Okay. Now, I don't know what kind of flower these guys... Oh, it just says flowers, so we do need to put these back down. Fine. We're just going to do it like that for now. So, once we supply it with power, it should be good to go. Oh, wow. Oh, there it goes. I, was, <laughs> I thought it was going to be done already. I was like, holy crap. That's insane. So this is pulling quite a bit of power. This is 23 per tick. And bread generates 20 per tick. So, wait, it's 21,020 per tick. So roughly, mm, math. Um, what is that, like 1,000 ticks before it runs out of power? Something like that, give or take, I think, maybe. So there's the little bar working, so it's at 5%. So this is working, we have all the stuff set up, so this one obviously says it can't because the sky is obstructed where this is working. So this is kind of cool. So what I'd like to do is maybe, just maybe, um, come up with either a different power source or just another power source, like make more solar panels on the roof here or something. Not necessarily that we don't want to tie into the existing one, but we want to offset it because we're going to be adding a fairly amount uh, of, of power here. Um, luckily this only adds about 15%. Now the biome, the biome stuff is a little different. Um, where to go? Dustry. So the biome stuff, like this, planes, that adds 20 and this is 15, so we're looking at about 35% increase, so I don't know offhand, but I'm going to estimate about 50 RF per tick. And the bad part of this is that would be per apiary. So if I have more than one apiary, we'll have a fairly decent amount of, of um, power going on. Now what I might do is run the power underground. I had mentioned running it 
through the roof, but I may just run it through the roof to get it in the building. I don't know, because what I'm thinking is if I run it underground, what I'm, what I'm thinking, I don't have any spare blocks on me, but is then we could do little patches like stairs in, what, a five grid? So like, oh, we'll use torches, so like here, uh, two, three, four, five, to there, and then it would be one, two, three, four, five, like that, and then these would be stairs, and then one block up would be, you know, a three by three of dirt, or whatever block they need, with an apiary, but in the middle, it could be hollow, and have these conduits coming up out of the top, or out of the bottom, I mean, and plugged in. I think that would be a cool way to do it, um, and then let's, let's just hypothetically look at the width of this room. Let's say we started another apiary there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I would have liked it to have been a little more symmetrical, but I guess I messed up on that. Uh, I mean... I guess I could always just move the wall out one over. Wouldn't kill anything. Mm. It's a lot of work, though. Uh, my OCD will probably get the, the best of me, and I'll end up doing that, but for now, I don't even have the... Uh, I don't even have the resources to build more apiaries and power them all at the moment. However, one thing I do want to do is start making our storage area over here. So, let me grab a tape measure just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like counting. So that's 12. That's unfortunate because even numbers make it a little hard to work with. Let's try this way. 12. Dang it. Why do I have to build things in even numbers? Uh, nine. Ooh, there we go. That could work. So, uh, what is that? Four. That should be four. Okay, so that means that's center. Good. So what I want to do... I don't know, again, none of this is really set in stone. I don't really know if it's going to stay like this or not. I'm just playing with ideas. In this texture pack, the glowstone kind of looks like honeycomb. Which I really like doing honeycomb stuff around the bee areas. Because I just think it's cool. And... I was looking for like a honey block, like there used to be, I thought it was forestry, apparently I was wrong. Oh nice, mundane comb, sweet. And I believe, let me double check if it's a separate machine or not, mutagen producer, mutatron, the mutatron is the one I'm thinking of, I think, let me see here. Yeah, the Mutatron is the one where you can put a princess and a bee of a different kind and it will um, it will end up breeding it. Though I don't know how the breed chance and stuff works and you, then there's the mutagen stuff. Like we need to get um, a bucket of mutagen and I think you need a mutagen producer for that. So we could go kind of nuts, but I'm thinking, here's, here's my overall thought is... This area, let's see, so if this was one apiary room, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So like that would leave a space between and then another one. I don't know that I'd have room to do another apiary room, but I would definitely have enough over here. Again, it would be right on the edge. Oops, because this goes to the edge, and then it would be one, two, three, four, ooh. Hmm. So I'd have to probably change this stair arrangement a little bit, but it's doable. We could totally do it. So I could have a grid of like four um, apiaries running at different times, you know, for different various things. And then up here we could have this as like storage. We could add other apiaries up here if we wanted to. We could put, you know, mutatron thing, mutagen makers, tanks, whatever. I mean this could this could get kind of 
expansive. And push come to shove, I could always tear this out. I just thought this gave it a little bit of depth. It wasn't all one level, one floor. So, you know, we could always do something a little different there. Um, I do really think I'm going to end up knocking this wall out one, though. That's just going to bug me. It really is. And I may end up changing the stair setup just a hair. Uh, what is I? Oh, I was coming to get my apiaris chest here. Can I pick this up? Please? No? Aw. Oh, crap. Oh, well, that's, that's, um, hmm, that's not, that's no good. So I'm gonna have to transfer all that crap manually, that's fun. Oh well. Uh, uh let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got my apiaris chest over here, and then I brought my bee analyzer out from the ME storage system, and just hung it on a drying rack here so that we can analyze stuffs. Um, now I don't have any place for, maybe I should end up putting the squeezer and stuff over here where I can get honey and pump it into a chest or something, or a tank or something, that would be interesting. Alright, so we got a sorceress drone. Wait, is that what we had before? Were they sorceress? And then mundane. They're from magic bees, but I don't think they do anything super cool. Shortest... Uh, temperature diurnal. That sounds like some kind of medical condition. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, cave dwelling, no tolerant flyer, nocturnal. So that's kind of cool because we actually just saw it actually do stuff. And that wasn't what it's supposed to do. Um, found of a warm, dry environment, they are fond. They seem to have the ability to conjure water from thin air. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that sounds useful. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that actually does work. Oops. And we got mundane combs out of that. Now, I imagine this is still being powered. Yeah, now it's just filling up the buffer. Okay. And that took eh, a pretty good amount of bread. But for now, that's not a bad power source. Um, tell you what, we're just going to throw you guys in there for now. How's that? Maybe? Oh, wait a minute. Energy required warm, but do they not have the right flowers? Oh. Does... Modest queen. Will that not... Hmm. It's not throwing any errors. It's probably because it doesn't have the right... Oh, there it goes. I was going to say it's probably because it doesn't have the right flower, but they have a big enough grid radius that it should. I mean, it should pick up the cacti from there. Which it is now. It's working now. So, that's awesome. So that's actually not too bad for one. Um, let's see, if we're planning... I'm estimating about 50% or a 50 RF per tick, because what I'm thinking is when I throw in different biome upgrades, it'll probably pull a lot more power, because that's 15% and it's at 23, and then we're adding another 20% on top of that. So, I mean, I'm not doing math in my head right now, but I'm, I'm guessing it'd be somewhere around 50 RF per tick. Um, Probably not, but it might. Um, so, actually, you know what? Screw it. Where's my calculator? I'm just going to do that right now. Um, so if we have, let's say, 25. Let's just say 25 and round high. Um, 1.02. Right? That's 20. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. No, it'll be 0.2. Oh, yeah, so it only adds 5, hmm, so 25 times 20% would actually only be 30. Oh, well that's cool. 
So we'll estimate about 30 or 40 just to be safe. But if we have one, two, three, four by 40, that's like 120 RF per tick. So that's a fairly good clip. I mean, it's going to hit our solar panel pretty good right now. Since what can, what's it actually do? I forget the, um, we do have a resonant to harden. The hardened are only like eight, but the resonant is 512 and we'd have 120 of it going here. And right now, I don't know. I'd like to actually find a system where you could tell how much power draw is coming from everything, you know, like on the grid. Uh, but oh well. So anyways, um, one last note though, we're going to wrap things up here in a minute, but we're, we're getting there. I'm glad we're getting into the bees and I got a new room built for it and everything. What I'll probably end up doing, I will more than likely end up pushing this wall over one just so that we have a space all the way around like, um, like this one would be. And I guess we could move where I had the... Well, no, that's fine. I like that there. I was going to say where I have these torches laid out for uh, the apiaries, I could move them in by one and it would just have a one block path all the way around it. But, eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, and then what I'd probably do is cut this by like two. Maybe one two yeah and then bring the stairs from this edge right here out so there's an empty space before you get into the stairs of the other apiaries type of thing so just shave this a little bit but and this could just oops this could just be some kind of you know simple little storage area or a tank you know something i don't know um but with that said i do think this is probably going to be one of my last episodes on this series i know i'm talking about plans it's just kind of habit that i'm talking about plans in case everybody's like no no don't do that but my reason being not that it hasn't received you know when i when i first pitched it and everyone was like yeah i would watch it yeah that sounds cool you know sounds fun and i got some comments here and there but mainly it's the viewership um the views just aren't pulling in kind of the this series has kind of been taking more work than probably any of my other series because it's taken multiple days it's like when uh adrian wanna fly and bass play kg and, and me are on here um you know we're always doing stuff and building and then i'll record a little clip and then it'll be a couple days and then i'll record another clip hey progress is made you know um stuff like that so I do think this is probably going to be one of my last ones just because not that not that some may not be disappointed in that, but just because it eats up a lot of time and it's really not getting a lot of views to recuperate for that or re recoup that. One of those words that means basically get back. It's 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 I'm putting more work into it than what I'm getting out of it kind of thing. Um, so I'll probably stop this for now. Uh, we're still going to play on the server and everything just because we're all having fun on it and stuff. But, um, and I'm probably just going to spend some of that time where I would normally be focused on the server progress and stuff and put it into like, you know, building on off camera on Space Engineers, the Let's Build, so that we can finish that uh, Star Destroyer ship type thing a little bit faster and, you know, just stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, with that note, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. And uh, probably for now, at least this series, I may revisit it if I have more time or if there's really a high demand for it, like, no, bring it back or something, then I may. But um, for now, I'm going to have to say we're, we're probably going to wrap this series up for the moment. It'll be on, I'll, technically we'll put it on hiatus. How's that? Uh, but in reality, it's probably more frozen. So anyways, we're going to wrap this episode up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you all in my other series and maybe eventually back on the server again. Peace.